This video demonstrates how to identify R and S enantiomers. First, let's define what an enantiomer is so you can properly identify one. An enantiomer is a molecule that has a mirror image that cannot be superimposed on the original molecule. What do we mean by this? Let's look at three different molecules. The first molecule has three identical substituents. We are able to move the mirror image molecule to achieve the exact orientation as the original molecule. The second molecule has two identical substituents. We can still move the mirror image to the exact orientation as the original. The third molecule is a chiral molecule. It has four uniquely different substituents attached to the central carbon. For this molecule, there is no way that we can turn the mirror image to achieve the exact orientation as the original. We would have to physically switch two bonds to make this happen. Therefore, this molecule is an enantiomer. Because this carbon is chiral, meaning it has four unique substituents, there are two associated stereoisomers with this molecule. It is important to distinguish between these two stereoisomers. We use a system to categorize enantiomers as R or S. If you find this confusing, think about enantiomers as the left hand and a right hand. Place your left hand over your right hand with both palms facing down and line up your fingers. You can't. Your thumbs will be on opposite sides. This is because your hands are mirror images. They're not identical. By the same notion, R and S enantiomers are mirror images. They are very closely related and have the same substituents, but they are uniquely different in how the substituents are arranged around the central carbon. Now that you have an idea about what an enantiomer is, let's talk about how we distinguish between R and S enantiomers. First, we must rank each substituent attached to the central carbon. The atoms are ranked by their atomic number, with the highest atomic number being the highest ranking. This means that hydrogen, which has the lowest atomic number on the periodic table, is always ranked last when present. If two or more of the atoms are the same, look at the next atom away from the center on each substituent and rank these. Continue moving along the substituents until a difference is found. If there is a double or triple bond present, that is considered equivalent to having the same number of single bonds attached to the atom. It can be helpful to make a copy of the molecule with your model set to determine enantiomer type. You'll need an sp3 hybridized carbon, four single bonds, and four different colored atoms to represent rankings. Highest ranking 1 is blue, rank 2 is red, rank 3 is yellow, and rank 4 is white. After ranking each atom in the molecule model, hold the lowest ranking atom away from you. So you are looking at three substituents circular to the central atom. Follow the ranking around the circle from highest to lowest. Using your finger, trace a path from the first rank substituent, blue, through the second, red, to the third, yellow. If you trace in a clockwise motion, this is an R enantiomer. The R stands for right, which is the direction of the ranking relative to the central carbon. If you trace the rankings from highest to lowest in a counterclockwise motion, this is an S enantiomer. The S comes from the Latin word sinister, which means left. Let's practice with an example. Rank the substituents. Remember, you rank each atom according to its atomic weight on the periodic table. Now pause the video and find out whether this lactic acid molecule would be considered an R or S enantiomer. First, rank each substituent. Hydrogen has the lowest atomic number, so right away we can rank this fourth, white. Oxygen has a higher atomic number than carbon, so oxygen will be ranked first, blue. We have two carbon atoms, which have the same atomic number. Thus, we must rank the next atoms until a difference is reached. 
The carbon on the left is a carboxyl group, double bonded to an oxygen and single bonded to a hydroxyl group. This ranks higher than the carbon on the right, a methyl group only bonded to hydrogens. The carbon on the left is ranked second, red. This leaves the carbon on the right ranked third, yellow. Now we have ranked all four substituents and we can build a model. Orient the molecule holding the lowest ranking atom away from you. So you are looking at the three other substituents in a circle around the central atom. Using your finger, trace around the circle from rank 1 to 2 to 3, blue to red to yellow. You traced in a counterclockwise motion, so this lactic acid molecule is an S enantiomer.